somebody make a decision. Hey, welcome back and whoa, traffic. <laughs> hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me. I appreciate you being here for what was close to our last ride. No, I had this. It's all good. But I saw something the other day about why I ride. Of course, there's that whole, you know, there's a lot of videos and a movie and all that stuff out about why I ride. And I started thinking about it. If I had to answer the question, what would the answer be? And it wasn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. It's not... For me, it's not anything concrete that I could really put my finger on. I thought maybe I'd just talk it out and see what comes of it. I had a job for decades that required me to drive constantly all over New England. After a while, I grew very tired of driving a car. But after 12 years or so of riding motorcycles, it's still as exciting as when I started. Perhaps that's because of the physiological impact of riding. When I'm on a motorcycle, I have no doubt that I have boosted adrenaline, dopamine, and probably a handful of other chemical changes. Like Pavlov's dogs and every other addiction, every other reward response system out there, we become conditioned, wanting more and more of that payoff. Perhaps my favorite part of riding a motorcycle that I haven't found any place else is the ability to be completely in the moment. You're going down some back road, and though you're isolated from everything else going on in life, you're very close to the environment around you, and suddenly, there's nothing else than that place and time. You're very, very much there. And it's an amazing feeling. A motorcycle is uniquely you. You and the machine. You and the environment around you. In some ways, it inherently sets you apart. Many people have no interest in riding motorcycles. Some people are unable to or unwilling to learn. Riding a motorcycle takes me back to when I was a kid on a bicycle. The good news is that I don't have to pedal anymore and I can go comparatively very fast. It's like a grown-up bicycle on steroids. One of my favorite bikes from childhood was very chopper-esque and that might explain quite a bit. Being on a motorcycle may be as close as you can get to riding a horse without actually being on a horse. In the long run, when you consider care and feeding, I suspect it's easier and cheaper than a horse, even with the extended warranty. I don't know what the extended warranty plan costs on a horse. And when you're riding, you're sharing a legacy with riders from over a hundred years. When you're going through that farmland, you look out and you wonder if that's what it was like back in the 20s and the 30s on the early machines. When you're tearing down the highway and that song is playing in your head from the 60s or 70s, you find yourself thinking, I wonder if this is what it felt like back then. Maybe someday, somebody will look back and wonder the same thing about us. I try not to think in terms of freedom and brotherhood, words that sometimes feel more like marketing slogans than actuality. I've met some terrific people because of motorcycles, but I'd say in general, it's not like the entire motorcycle community is lining up to shake your hand and welcome you into the family. Those aspects are around. But those answers are too easy. Personally, I like to ride just because of the act of riding. And that might be why it doesn't matter if it's a moped or a Grom or a big gnarly Harley. I just love riding. I dig it and it's a part of me. I've often said I'd rather be in the rain on my motorcycle than in a dry car. And that still stands true. I suppose that's why I ride. <laughs>